Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily if you're new here. So Coachella just happened I think it might have been weekend one. I'm not really sure but Coachella happened over the weekend and the internet is like full of outfits of what everyone was wearing So I'm gonna be reviewing them for you today I've only picked outfits that I like so I'm not gonna be roasting anyone also I'm not in a position to be roasting anyone on their style So I got a bunch of pictures on my phone some of my favorites I kind of think like the Coachella picks are probably gonna be like predicting this summer's fashion anyway There was a lot of like long flowy skirts, which I'm dying to get one of those But they're so expensive that I haven't got one yet loads of flowing skirts loads Loads of that like crochet type tops and stuff but also loads of people went for boho style again which is really nice I know last year like the supermodels all came like uber chill and all the influencers and the regular people were like dressed up how you would be for Coachella uh, so that was a bit disappointing and it kind of looks like they've done the same thing again but I think there's more of a balance this time like I think like the first one I'm gonna talk about is Kendall Jenner's look which I know it's, it is pretty boring but she's definitely like nailed that model off duty look like I think it looks really nice I think the back was cut out I'm not sure about the sandals but apart from that, I think it's nice. I mean, it's not like what most people would wear to Coachella, but there's something about the outfit is just still really nice, so. And then Hailey Bieber's, I don't know anything about the politics of her at the moment, but this fit, I'm definitely gonna be recreating it. But she's also got like um belly jewelry. Oh, I love it. And the baseball cap and the earrings, like massive statement earrings. I'm really loving like just loads of jewelry at the moment, like loads of layered gold jewelry. It's just, oh, I love it. So I thought she looked amazing. Camille Cabello's, I love how like oversized this is and I don't know if this is like really distressed like leather or something but I do really like it. Like I don't know what it is but this is really nice. It looks like she's got more like flowery girly necklaces underneath. Like I always like that juxtaposition if you're wearing like really masculine baggy dark clothing to juxtapose it with like some light dainty jewellery. I think she looks great as well. Okay, so next is someone called Madeline White. I think she's an influencer but I'm so obsessed with her outfit. Oh my goodness. I don't know even what it is. It looks like a butterfly print or something, um, but I love the colors. It's so like tropical and beautiful. And another trend I noticed, not really among the celebrities, but more among just like either smaller influencers or just regular people who went, decorated their hair. I have more photos of this later on in the video. They've decorated their hair with like these butterflies and like beads and little flowers and it is my favorite thing about Coachella this year. I don't know where it came from, but it's so pretty and she's done it. I think she looks amazing. Like when I was going through all the Coachella looks this year, I didn't really see anything like this. I think this is my favorite. So now I really couldn't find very many celebrity <laughs> outfits that I like that much. It felt like everyone was trying too hard to look as if they just thrown together an outfit, which I don't know. It kind of takes the fun out of Coachella because Coachella is a bit of a like fashion show and everyone like obviously everyone's thinking about their outfits so I just think you should accept it and like go with a really cool theme. But so this is this is just from a website called Women's Wear Daily and it's just like I think it's street they've called it street style at Coachella. So this is what I was talking about with the flowers look she's put loads of like baby's breath in her hair she's got butterflies on her like outfit or oh, I love this I don't know how like she can stick it in her afro, I think it might, maybe it's easier. I don't know if I could do it on my hair, but I definitely would if I could. If that's gonna be a trend this summer, then I'm jumping on board 100%. Like I know it's always so corny to put flowers in your hair, but I feel like the way she's done it really works. Like just going all out and just going for it actually works better than just like putting one little flower in your hair, I think. Okay, this is what I was talking about, about the big flowy skirts. Like look at this one. This, I don't know who this is, but this big white flowy skirt and it looks like it's got embroidered flowers in it. I love this. This is so pretty. And then she's got a really nice top on the- she's got a really nice top. And one of those belts that I've seen going around recently, I don't personally like the belts, but this- it does work in this outfit. And then layered gold jewellery, of course. Oh, I love it. I literally- I think this look is beautiful. Okay, so this- then I started going through, like, people who had tagged Coachella as a location on Instagram. I saw all, all sorts of stuff. These girls- so the girl on the right has worn- it looks like- eh exactly the same dress from the last photo but maybe not like it looks like she's no that is oh my god it is literally the same skirt i don't know where it's from but <laughs> maybe it's from revolve or something but it's gorgeous i love all the crops i think the crop tops are amazing i love the boots the girl on the left is wearing and her little skirt as well honestly that looks like she could be going out in england but i think she's australian but yeah i love the thin sunglasses as well i think these girls look so good so this is the same girl different outfit uh, Sasha Morpeth 
And again, white flowy skirts. I don't know if you guys could tell that I really, really enjoyed that trend this year. Um, with the cowboy boots though, I would have never paired it, but it looks so good. And the tiny little lace bralette thing, gorgeous. I'm kind of looking for outfit inspiration for one of those big white skirts because I'm definitely gonna get one this summer. So a little frilly top like that looks really good. I think they've got like neck scarves on or something. I don't really know, but I love it. The girl on the right has got a really similar thing as well. They've like gone slightly matching. I really like that. Okay, and then this is, uh, you know what I've done. I've literally just screenshotted girls all wearing the same skirt. It's the same skirt again. I don't know how I didn't notice. So it is a Revolve skirt. It's called the Kalaya Midi skirt. Oh, dang it. That's... <laughs> oh my god. Well, anyway, this girl has paired it another way. Pretty similar to how all the other girls have paired it. But you know what? I still think it looks great. Maybe from the front, like just with lace panties, I don't know if it works as well as with like little booty shorts. Um, but she looks great. Okay, this is Madison Beer. You guys, I'm so obsessed with Madison Beer. This kind of looks effortless. Like it does look like she's tried, but it still looks like she's just... It looks, oh, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. She looks amazing, and the picture is great, the lighting's amazing. Her nails, the jewellery, the sunglasses, everything looks amazing. Like, I think that this probably looks like a Coachella look that, like, a regular person would wear. This doesn't look like Kendall Jenner wearing black jeans in the desert, you know? This looks like she's gonna go rave somewhere, which I really like. And then this girl, Tammy Tot, I saw this and I was like, oh my god, an outfit that's pink, because nobody really wore pink at Coachella really? Well, I'm not gonna say nobody, that's stupid, but it wasn't really in the color palette this year and I'm not sure it, it ever is, but this girl, she says she made her dress. It is so pretty. Go check this girl out because I love how she paired it with the like really clunky white boots. Like, I'd never have thought of that. I think it's genius. And then she's got a little, like a little scarf tied around her bag. I think it's so pretty. And she's got ribbons in her hair. You could only just see it, but I think like really over the top feminine stuff like that is so pretty especially these days where like baggy clothing is really in at the moment wearing something super feminine like this i think makes you stand out so much i love it i love it it's so pretty okay alex earl oh i have such a crush on her as well i love how she did her hair like beach waves super like boho clipped back a little bit. I love her little top. It's, I like it. I think it's just boho enough. It's also silky though. I don't like the, there's this trend at the moment of like um, lingerie dresses with like that kind of frilly stuff at the front. I don't really like it because it does look like you're wearing a nighty in my opinion, but the this one that she's wearing is perfect. Like I have no, like nothing I would change. I think it looks amazing. This is her full outfit. So she has big black boots on the bottom and then a maxi skirt a black belt and then the little top and a brown bag. I think that's a beautiful colour palette. I think that works really well at Coachella as well with like the... mostly in the desert, aren't you really? This is another one of her outfits. I love these pants. They're like flares and then she's got the netting on her arms. It looks very like, I don't know, old hippie boho as well. And then the black bra. It's so pretty and the way she's cut her hair here as well is amazing. I didn't watch any of her vlogs from Coachella, like on her TikTok, but I imagine it was pretty chaotic, so she looks really good. Cause I mean, Coachella looks really intense, so <laughs> the fact that everyone looks so put together is amazing. So this is some of Alex Earl's friends. I I don't know who these people are, but they all look amazing, so I just wanted to go through the picture. So the girl on the left is wearing this kind of reminds me of like June, like what they wear in June, I don't know why. I think because it's like so flowy and dark, but I think it looks amazing. Alex Earl is wearing some really nice print. I don't even know what you would call that fabric, like what? I have genuinely no idea what it is, but it looks really pretty. The girl in the middle is also wearing this like netted fabric. I think that looks, that's perfect for Coachella. I think it looks, it's like covered up a little bit more, but it's still like really pretty. And then one girl has gone for all denim, which is really pretty. With the cowboy boots, I think that works really well. That's really nice. And then the girl on the end is matching top and bottom. Like also all together, they're like all in the same color palette. They all look amazing. I think if I was gonna wear one of them to Coachella, it would be the middle one. I think that looks so pretty. Apparently, one of the uh, one of the comments says, Alex is wearing unreleased, unnamed NYC. So that's what that is. I don't know what that is, but it looks really nice. So in conclusion, the trend of putting little flowers and bows in your hair and butterflies is amazing and I hope that lasts the rest of 2023. I loved how in everyone goes on Coachella, like I know last year was this trend of like everyone looking like they weren't, well the models were all trying to look like they weren't putting in any effort and 
I am so glad that that trend has not continued because it's so boring, honestly. Like, they all look great, but it's more fun when, like, people dress up like this, like the photos I've just gone through, like, everyone has their own personal style, like, those, the first three girls have still kept their, like, street style, Instagram influencer style, but they still look great. I can't believe that one skirt came up three different times, <laughs> it's really dumb. But yeah, everyone looked amazing. But yeah, anyway you guys, let me know which one was your favourite because I love Coachella, I love seeing all the styles, I love seeing everyone dress up and I love the vlogs as well so I'm definitely going to be watching all of the vlogs and like living vicariously through them. If I can ever get to Coachella one year that would be amazing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!